This is Seth David for SchoolofBookkeeping.com bringing to you another answer. This is how to customize sales receipts in QuickBooks Online. Sometimes what I like to do is I like to go out hunting. I like to go out hunting for uh, questions people are asking about how to do things in QuickBooks or QuickBooks Online. And of course, a great place to go for this. And if you've followed our Too Legit to Audit blog, then you may have run across the post where I specifically talked about the Intuit community here, uh, where you can get exposed to potentially 50,000 new potential customers every month. And I wasn't making that number up to be dramatic. That is what I was informed is the rate of growth of this community. Every month, 50,000 new users come in here because it's the first place they're going to logically look for help is the Intuit community. Intuit makes QuickBooks, so that's where I'm going to go for help. And they provide this amazing platform, and there's a ton of content in here. So I found uh, a question here that I'm going to now provide the answer to, which is how to customize sales receipts in QuickBooks Online. So uh, here's the thing. It depends on which uh, settings template you or, or settings user interface you have. There's a newer user interface, which is what uh, Intuit KDT here is referring to when she posted her answer. And the original uh, commenter or question asker um, came back and said she doesn't see that. She doesn't see what uh, Stoeltinger wrote whatever her name is, this person here. Um, so there's just there's no customization in the blue bar at the bottom of my sales receipt entry screen for the sad face. And then somebody else wrote in, mine either. And then nobody else came in and showed them the way. Well, Seth David to the rescue from schoolofbookkeeping.com. I'm going to show you, and it's actually pretty easy. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to come over here into the company settings. Well, this is the company menu. Then you go to company settings and form delivery is what you want and notice here it says customize forms check this out when I click customize right down here I can actually choose because let's go back because there's an important piece of information I failed to bring up is that she apparently works for a nonprofit and she doesn't want to call it a sales receipt um, she wants to call it a you know a donor type thing right because people are going to be very upset if they see a sales receipt when they're making a donation so right over here, instead of sales receipt, you can actually call it a donation. See? It's easy. Now, of course, when you get the new interface, which by the time you see this video, probably they'll give you the new interface. And then you'll just go back to the original instructions that were provided in that new interface. Um, and that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. But this is how you would customize it. And actually, they give you a specific choice, donation. And you can change that. Of course, you can also get into the other areas of customization here if you want to as far as really getting down and dirty on your template but but the quick answer to your question is just come in here so quick recap company settings sales form delivery sales form delivery customize and then right here sales receipt change it to donation simple as that clear as mud that's my story and I'm sticking to it if you have any questions you can actually come over to schoolofbookkeeping.com and ask them in our answers forum and you might just get a video response just like this one ask them in both places because you're likely to get good answers in both places you can copy and paste your question from one place to the other in fact you can open it up in both tabs and copy and paste your question it's so much fun getting help and tapping into the resources that are available to you to get the help doing the things that you need to do instead of spending hours trying to figure it out on your own. As always, uh, my name is Seth David. I'm from schoolofbookkeeping.com. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day, and I look forward to seeing you on the web.